back to little things. This is a rather impromptu video, um, but I made a mistake when I was making my last sort of triangular seed box and I never left half an inch to fasten it together um, this way because obviously it needs to be flush. So I thought to myself I could do one or two things. I could think of something else to make with it. I could use it for card pieces or sentiment pieces or I could see if I could make something out of it and so I've decided to see if I can make something out of it and I thought what I'd do is I would just make a video to show what you can do with your disasters because I hate waste, hate it and it's bad for the environment, it's bad for your pocket it's just not, waste is never good so I thought right what do I do with this then well I don't know what to do with this yet and this is what I'm still thinking <laughs> Um, but so what you could do, one way you could rem rem remedy, it, remedy it if this happened to you is just take a piece of um, cardstock that you'd trimmed off in the same colour and just like, just what's this, an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, just score it down the middle and then just glue it onto one side and then you've just got your flap there then just to glue one to the other side. I'd kind of cut it on angles like that. And then you can carry on and you can make another box the same. The other thing you could do is you could, um, like I said, use it as panels. So you could cut these out and use them in, uh, you know, cards. You know the ones with the pop-up diamond, diamond fold in the middle? They'd be good for that. Um, these would make um, card fronts themselves or they'd go on another box or you could use them for sentiment pieces or whatever. So you, there's a lot you could do with this. Now what I'm looking at is I kind of like the way it, it sits like that. And leaves a bit of an overhang there. Um, I'm just wondering if there's potential to turn it into something. I don't know. I think there is potential to turn it into something. You know what you could do with it? You could, I'm inclined to use the brick wall folder and put it on here and stick some flowers on and have two rings and have it as a, a desk, a desk calendar. Either you could do it so they came over the front and it just sat like that and maybe had a little, I don't know. I don't know but whatever don't waste it but I think I am going to make something out of it you could make some sort of a handbag gift bag I think out of that if you were to just glue these pieces there's a little boy across the road shooting us again there's a little boy across the road who's always got a toy gun in his hand well, he's not that little he's about 14 He's always pointing at our house, shooting at our house. It worries us sometimes. Thank God we live in the UK where it's highly unlikely that it's real. It'd be such a laughing matter if we lived somewhere else. 
It's not a real gun, by the way. It's a BB gun, whatever they're called. Right, so we've made this. <laughs> which is... Right, so I've made this sort of shape. So now that does pop open, so you could put things in there. And you could make something to come over the top here as a closure. Or you could just leave it like that. It's like a frog. <laughs> I'm just thinking now what if he did make it a frog what if he put big eyes on it and made it like a frog secret storage box Let me look for something that might go nicely. Oh, that would go very nicely. Right. That didn't take me long, did it? So that's they're three and three quarters, aren't they? So if I cut three and three quarters. If I go to three and um, six eighths, yeah, three and six eighths by three and six eighths. And do two panels. To stick on. That's already looking really pretty. And then if I get... Well, I'm just going to stick those on because I know that's what I want. So they can go on to there. And then your sides, what you could do is take a strip. Put it over so it covers up those joins and fasten that on and then you could put a strip of this across it as well so that's three quarters of an inch so you just want half an inch half an inch and just lay that on top of there and then you could either put it on with brads or you could just glue it on I don't mean the strip I mean the whole handle you could put it on with brads so you had some movement in it if you wanted some movement in it. Just trim it down to it's got a little bit of edging.
if you've joined me just to make this, because I think I am going to demonstrate this now. I think I am going to use this on my channel. Oh, that would look pretty. If you join me just to make this, then um, I apologise <laughs> because you're going to have to go and find the mistake I made to be able to make it. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a panel across where the joins are. So I'm going to put like a piece across there. So we need three and three quarters. And then we'll just trim the edges. Um, so we just need three and three quarters by about an inch, half an inch. So three and three quarters, just under three and three quarters. And then by about three quarters of an inch. We want two of those. And then what we do is we we'll just pop those onto the sides there. So that looks nice. And then I think a couple of... Gems, so multifaceted gems. On there. It's looking very sweet, this. And then you could just have a little piece of green, sort of going for five inches. Fold over at the top. And we could just leave it flat at the back, but we could just fishtail it. At the front. Oh, look how cute. the velcro dot and then you could just pop a lovely big pearl on to finish or a button but I think a pearl would look nice oops There we go. I'm not too sure about these two strips at the side. I think they could be a bit shorter. Um, but yeah, I love that. And then you could make a little sentiment to go on it. Um,
Mm. Wondrous happy birthday from hand delivered. We'll fit across. Oh, congratulations. We'll fit. I love hand delivered. I'm going to do something with that if you've not seen it. The font. I tell you what, the font on these new stamp sets is just, oh, it's to die for. It's just so beautiful. Look at that. Just love it. This gorgeous font. I'm not going to um, raise it up with dimensionals. I'm just going to make it a nice, classic, straightforward label. Could have possibly made it a bit narrower, but it doesn't matter now, does it? And then pop that on there. Get it nice and flush with the bottom and equidistant from the edges. I love it. I think in hindsight I would have cut my paper properly and I'd have covered these handles and put my um, gem up here. But I absolutely love that. Absolutely. And that's it. That just shows you what you can get out of a piece of scrap. Now that would have gone in the bin in some for some people. And instead, look what I've made it into. A beautiful bag. And when you open it up, you've got tons of space in there because you can squash it. So when you open it up, you can squash it and it opens and you can fit loads of stuff in there. And besides, if you're putting something like a scarf in there or something, you just put it out anyway. Look at that. Can I just zoom you in a little bit? That is super cute. And that was made from scrap. That was made from a project gone wrong. Who'd thought it? It's lovely. So, thanks for watching. And I'm glad that... If you found it a bit boring, sort of me not knowing what I was doing, um, what I'm trying to show you is not how to be perfect. I'm showing you how to inspire yourself to make something out of nothing, really. And I think I succeeded because I think that's really cute. I think people are going to like that. So, thanks for watching. Take care. See you again soon. Bye.